Hi everyone and welcome back. Today we're quickly going to talk about setting up Windows Update for Business Reports. This is the new reporting solution that's coming in to replace Update Compliance which has been around for, for many years now uh, and the setup could not be any simpler. So let's get started. So before we start looking at configuring Windows Update for Business, let's talk over the prerequisites very briefly. Um, so one of the first things you're going to need is an Azure subscription with Azure Active Directory. Um, your devices are going to have to be Azure AD joined or hybrid Azure AD joined. Workplace joined devices are not supported, so things like BYOD are not supported um, by this solution. Uh, in terms of permissions, you're going to need to be either a global administrator, an Intune administrator, or a Windows Update deployment administrator. Um, for the log analytics workspace that will be created, um, or you create yourself, um, users who are going to be configuring it will need log analytic contributor, and anybody that's going to be reading it will need log analytics reader. I will put a link in the description below to read further about the prerequisites, um, but these are the brief ones we need to know about in this instance before we get configuring. So now we've spoke about the prerequisite a little bit, let's head over to the Azure portal. Okay, so you can see here I've got a pay as you go subscription. Um, so from here, what I want to do is then locate Azure Monitor. and then click on workbooks and click on the view icon underneath workbooks. From there, if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you will see the Windows Update for Business Reports uh, with an Insights, if you click on there. Um, if you've not configured Windows Update for Business Reports already, you will be prompted with a Getting Started screen. So if you hit Get Started, you'll see here, it will ask you to select a subscription. If you've got a log analytics workspace already created that you would like to utilize, you can select that from here. Um, it must be within a supported region. Um, however, I've not had one created um, for this purpose. So what I'm gonna do is click create a new workspace. I'm gonna put it in my page you go subscription. I'm just gonna create a new resource group. So update compliance. And I'm going to call it update-compliance again, and I'm going to store it in UK South. Okay, so I'm just going to click review and create here. Once it's finished validating, what we will do is click create. So now it's created the deployment. It'll go away and deploy the resources. Okay, so if we close this and close this, we will have to head back over to Azure Monitor. Again, locate the Windows Update for Business Reports. If we get started. Select your subscription, select your workspace, and click Save Settings. Okay, so review the information in the, the side pane, and then click Save. Okay, so this will now take up to 24 hours um, to configure. Um, what you now need to do is deploy some settings to your devices. So if we head over to Intune, uh, and to devices, configuration profiles, and click create a file. Okay, so platform, Windows 10 and later, type settings catalog and click create. So I'm just gonna call this update compliance. Next. So the settings that we want to add um, for this one are, so if we do allow commercial under the system heading, so we want to allow commercial, uh, allow device name. This one is optional, um, 
but I like to have the device name in the Windows Diagnostic Data. Uh, so allow telemetry. Again, under the system. Uh, update compliance processing um, within system. Then you want to allow woof beat. And then these are a couple of extra settings um, that I like to, to add in. So within here, so the change notification and the opt-in UX. Okay, so once you've selected them, um, if you close the side pane and then let's enable the configure opt-in. Um, and what I like to do is I like to disable the opt-in change notification um, just because if users are unable to change it, I don't see the point in having it prompt them and tell them that their diagnostic settings have changed. Um, again, that is completely optional. Um, so then you need to enable the following settings and change this uh, allow telemetry to full or enhanced. Then what you want to do is allow the device name and enable. So once you finish configuring your settings, if you click next, assign your scope tags, assign your devices, and then review and create. Okay, so in true art attack fashion, what we're going to do is look at my lab tenant where I created one earlier. Um, so what we want to do, there is two ways of accessing um, the Windows Update for Business reports um, once it's created. So if you first of all go to the Azure portal, click on monitor, you're going to access this the same way you created it. So through workbooks to the insights and click on Windows Update for Business reports. You'll see the getting started screen very briefly and then it will load your report data. Okay. So the other way to access it is through your admin.microsoft portal. So if you click show all under health and software updates. Uh, and then if you click on windows, again, you'll see very briefly the screen and then you will see a high level view um, of your devices. If you click on go to windows update for business reports, it will take you to the workbook in Azure monitor. And a bit of a, as a bit of an extra bonus, what we can do is if we just head back over to the Azure monitor um, and click on logs. If you ensure your log analytics workspace is collected, what we can do is we can start to dig into the data with Custo. Okay, um, for this example, I'm just going to do one brief query, which is going to show me any devices that have got unresolved updates alerts okay so what i want to do is you see update alerts and i want to summarize and i want to get the last time generated i want to select all of the columns by the global device id okay and that's not going to return anything in 24 hours, but so if I, if I just select it a bit further to seven days, it's going to show me the devices within here. Okay, so what I want to then do is I want to filter it where the error code is not empty and the alert status does not equal resolved. Okay, if I then click run, you will see it will narrow it down to that one device. So you can now really start to dig into your data with Custo. There is so many different ways you can dig into Custo, um, but this is just a little bonus of what data you can then start to really dig down to. Um, and you can even create your own workbooks off the back of this.
as always thank you for watching please like subscribe and leave comments for more content to come from euc 365